Hello my book queens and welcome back to my channel. I'm Shark, Mr. Pink Ink and welcome to another rainy day in Cape Town. It is the 20th of September. It's a Sunday and it's raining. But of course it's spring and you know we need to be aware of these things but with spring comes all this hay fever and I had to clean up here because I wanted to do a video. <laughs> so the dust made my chest all tight and everything. So I struggled to breathe this morning, which is fine because you know we're a big boy and we can handle these things now. Mm. Anyway, so I thought today that I would show you a tour of my bookshelves because you've been asking for it, and I thought why not? Um, so this is like part two of my you know, turning my study into my YouTube studio and my library and everything. Okay, cool. Um, so the first part was me making the shelves. I'm sure you saw those videos. If you haven't, I'm going to tag it up here. And then, yeah, so I thought I'd show you my shelf. I packed them again yesterday. And I'll show you some of that now. Okay, before I start showing you what's on my shelves, I just have to explain to you that after you, you saw my video building the shelves, after that I decided, look, I'm gonna take them all down again and redo it because I felt that I needed to reinforce the bottom. It seemed a bit wobbly, so I added more bricks and added the pillars in between make them closer so there's one too much of a gap of course this is specifically like that this big deal this big space because I want it that way um, and because of the two planks here and if I put, in, uh, put one in here it wouldn't have worked for me but anyway I, I could have I could have it might have actually been better but I'm, I'm happy Anyway, so this is what it looks like now after I repacked the shelves yesterday. Uh -huh. And of course, I'm using the bottom parts to put in this my flowers and stuff for my props. In that basket over there is all the hats and goodies. In this box is stuff that I'm putting, that I'm keeping uh, yeah, for, for future giveaways. And these boxes that I'm going to reuse, and so on and so forth. And this box here. Uh, there's stuff in there that I want to go through, but I just didn't have the time for that or the mm, inclination. Anyway, so I'm gonna take you all over here and we'll start on this side and work away this way. Cool, cool. Well, this side is where my desk is and by the window and stuff. And by the way, well, the window is currently open because my cat likes to sit outside there, just outside my window. So you hear ladies and maybe the rain. So. Once my neighbor is making a noise, because it's already 11 a.m., then, you know, I will close that. So, this is where I sit. It's the closest to me. Um, uh, and also, that has the longest shelf there. So, what I decided was, I'm going to start doing books that, you know, the most These are all the authors that I grew up with. They are the authors that I have the most books of. Um, so let's start over here. Yeah, right on top. Sorry for my finger. Right on top, we have the Wheel of Time series. Very mismatched. <laughs> From Robert Jordan, and after he died, Brandon Sanderson continued on his story. So there's the 14 books. 
Um, we're gonna go one, two, three, four, and five. Then the back here, haha, <laughs> and big bulky lumpy, we have six. Um, I don't have a smaller six, and we have seven. I don't have a smaller seven. Then we have eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. And this is, you know, a companion. That's pretty cool. Hmm. Obviously, these big and bulkies need to be replaced with small ones, and eventually, one day, I will replace them and have a proper matching set. But these are very loved, and I got them, you know, second hand. Some have come with me in, in storage from, from all my moves and stuff of my lifetime, so I'm very attached to those. Um, but I'm more attached to my Terry Good kind because this is my favorite series ever. The Sword of Truth series from Robert Jordan. There's over 20 books. I mean, Robert Jordan, Terry Goodkind, my bad. Um, yeah, over 20 books in this series. But I think up until Confessor, number 15, I think that's like the main story. This is another series that I would like to replace. A lot of these were got second hand. Um, some I got as gifts, some I got new, like these, and this one, this one, and this one, this one, this one was a gift there, I mean. Um, yeah, I still have some on my review shelves over there, <coughs> which I can't read yet because I have three and five, so I need one, two, and four. And then this one um, is number four, and I need one. I need two and three because I already have one of it. Yeah. So that I'll have to make plans for when <laughs> I get a chance to do so. Omg. So yeah. So these are the two biggest series of my life that I enjoyed. And this is my favorite. This is my brother's favorite. Um. And, and yeah, so but I enjoy both of them. Okay, I, I don't have a problem. But this, 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 this is mine. And then down here we're going into Ted Williams, um, very old copy of the Dragonbone Chair, which is book one in the Memory Sorrow and Thorn series. Really, really good. Really good. I loved it. And then I've got book three, which I got new from, from the Bargain Book Sale. Um, so I'm missing two and four. This here is the Shadow March series. I read a bit there and I'm not impressed. I don't know if I'll continue to read that, but anyway, we'll see what that happens. So, not as good as Dragonbone Chair, the heart of what was lost. Um, I'm not sure where that falls in, but I want that in the giveaway. So, that was pretty cool. I'm leaving spaces, guys, for the books that are on my current TBR. Um, like this one, um, so yeah, and then Robin Hub. Uh, Robin Hub is awesome. I'm busy on my reread of the Farsi trilogy, which starts with book number one, The Assassin's Apprentice, <coughs> and then number two is on my TBR, Ooh, and that is sorry. Um, Royal Assassin. I got these three mismatch. This mismatched trio at a second-hand bookstore, and then that's number three. Um, and then I also have the Forest Mode, Shaman's Crushing, and Renegade's Magic. Is the Forest Sun, the Shaman Sun, Forest Sun? I don't know. But that's another complete trilogy that I have that I haven't read yet. I keep reading the Soldier Sun trilogy. I keep reading book one. And I only get to certain places and then something else happens and then I never finish it. So I still need to read that. And then I have Ship of Magic, which is book one. And I need to get the rest of that. I have read this trilogy from the library when I was much younger, but I can't remember, so we'll have to do that. And then down here... Oopsie. Uh -huh. We've got Terry Pratchett's... Guys, Terry Pratchett is really funny. His fantasy, his Discworld novel has like, uh, his Discworld series has like 30 odd novels. They're really funny, they're really good. Go have a look at that. And of course, Raymond E. Feist. Um, East Magician trilogy from the story about Pug. <coughs> that becomes Malamba. 
that is the best. So there's three books in this one. I only have the first one. Um, I haven't read anything else from him. Anything that's labeled Rift War is a spin-off of the original series. Okay. But I don't know about the others. I don't have anything that's fully completed um, yet. I don't have a set that's fully completed. And, and, and if you know me, I like to read a set when it's all done. When I have all of them in case I want to binge. Yeah. Okay. Moving on, we come back over to here and then up here. I have all my Terry Brooks. Is the the sword of Shinara guy? Okay, cool. So that's pretty awesome. Um, they're all in the same world, even though there are some separate trilogies, like the Jewel Shinara. Voyage of the Jewel Shinara is one, two, and three. I have a big one somewhere. Okay, so I have those, and then I have stuff in between, and I also have missing numbers so there's a lot of terry brooks on my shelves that are not read yet and um one lone copy of the magic of Cities book one uh, uh is it no no it's not uh, oh it doesn't say on here but anyway i have i have the entire series on my e-reader so I'm, I'm happy with that if i feel that it's good then i will buy more. I have read his trilogy um, about the Soprano Sorceress. It's really good. So I'm looking forward to reading his main. Then down here. Um, yeah, so as you can see, those are all high fantasy so far. And then if I move over here, you'll see this is more high fantasy PDB Brett. Um, these are all unread because I'm still missing the Skull Throne. I think it's number four in the series. One, two, three, four, five. I don't know, but I haven't read those yet. Um, and then from the back over here, you start going into the young adult fantasies and stuff. Um, Corin Miller. Guys, 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 this, her books are fantastic as well. Um, I first read the Kingmaker Kingbreaker duology. And I fell in love with her work. Then I got the God Speaker trilogy by A Second Hand Store, all three together. I love that because, you know, I love having all of them together. Whether I love it or not, if I don't love it, I can always, you know, pass it on, sell it or whatever. Um, and then this is just as good. You would swear um, after reading book one, you read book one, then you read book two, and you would think it's completely different. And then three merges all of them together. It's incredible. It's incredible. Um, the Bells and Everless over here. Um, these are also unread. Bells is going to go on to one of my TBRs soon. Everless, I'm getting ever more. I think at the end of the month. So then I think that's a duology as well. And then I'll read that. This R.I. Salvador. Um, uh, is actually an arc, um, and I want it in a giveaway. I haven't read it yet. It's a Drist novel. Drist. If you're a D and D player, you'll know who that is. My brother is a D and D player. I'm not so much. Um, Trudy Canavan. It's the first time I read her. Um, this is really good. So I am looking forward to more. Um, of her, Ace of Shades is book one. I'm not reading that yet. Heartless is brilliant. I loved, loved, loved. This was my first taste of Marissa Maya. And, um, yeah, I'm, I'm so happy that I finally got to read it. The Astonishing Color of After, I got in one of my book swap boxes. Super excited to read that. The Poppy War, I'm not going to read until I have, you know, more because... Dragon Song something part two is out already, so I'm going to need to read that um, when I have all of them. And then down here we have all the Sarah J. Moss. I mean the Cassandra here. Sarah J. I always get them confused. I'm so doof. Anyway, so yeah, we have all the Cassie Clares. Um. The only things that unread so far are is the Dark Artifices, so I still need to read one, two, three. Okay, and then I'm gonna go into the Bane Chronicles. Yeah, and then then I read all of it, and I still need 
Tales from the Shadow Hunter Academy, and I need the new series and so on and so forth. Um, I do love Cassie Clare. I wasn't very impressed with her writing in um, the Mortal Instruments, um, but I do have to say that it does get better. Um, the Mortal Instruments could have been two trilogies, if you ask me, but that's fine. It's pretty cool. So yeah, so just finished reading this recently. Looking forward to these, and I can't wait. Then I just need to space my book sleeves. I've got them all over there, and then in the space of a year, are my special books. You know, my special books. These are the books that I've worked with with the with with authors from authors that I have worked with either on my blog or on Instagram. Except for this one, which I'll move, but it is signed, which I want in a giveaway. It's signed, which is why it's here, because most of these are signed as well. That's why this is here. Okay, cool. And then over here is my historical fiction. Um, Wilbur Smith with the River God series, the Egyptian series. Really good. One of my faves. Okay, cool. It's the only Wilbur Smith I've read by the uh, Tattoos of our shorts is awesome. I'm going to be reading Silk's Journey soon. I don't know. This looks like historical fiction because you know it's based like war stuff. But I don't know about this one. This series um, it's also unread. So um, I don't know if it's accurately placed here. Uh, but anyway, that's cool. And in this box, I have bookmarks and art prints and stuff that I want to keep together but out of the way and then up here we started getting to more again more young adults so Mary Lou I need I need I need wild card to finish that you want to do off excellent 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 then we have the spell slinger series from Sebastian de Castell incredibly done this is you know this is what gets me Books like these get me, got me hooked on young adult fantasy, because young adult fantasy and epic fantasy or high fantasy are two completely different things. Fight me, they are two completely different things. Yeah, stuff happens all the time, all the time. Things happen, 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 happen. Yeah, you have to unpack because you know you're in the long haul. So things really slow. So you get to learn your characters, you get to love them, you get to know them, you get to learn the places you are on. You you start seeing all the plots that happen three books later. This is the kind of thing. With young adults, it has to happen now, it has to happen now. So that's, that's the difference is all the elements of fantasy are in both so that's why they are fantasy but this is my opinion and I'm open to discussion so hit me up down below then I started the three dark crowns from Kendi Blake it's also unread I want to get to that soon and I darken from Kirsten White's I've only read number one up until halfway through that book I, w I was okay, but I wasn't loving it. This is also high fantasy, actually, if you ask me, even though it's young adult. Um, but after the second half, I was, it was, it was, oh my word, this is best. I can't believe that it's in there. I'm so happy that it happened. Um, so that made me keep reading. So I need to read the next two. The Darkest Minds. I only have number one. I haven't seen the movie yet or the series. Zoe Marriott, Daughter of Flames, I've read. What did I do with Mary? I've read quickly away. The Swan Kingdom from her, and it was beautiful, and I loved it, so I'm looking forward to more. Of course, I'm waiting for the last one before I read that. This Lainey Taylor um, is unread, and I'm, and I'm going to get to it soon. It keeps staring at me. And of course, I just need the last one. In that there and then I'm done. Out of all of these, um, I think I didn't I didn't really enjoy the Batman one much. Wonder Woman was good. Catwoman was good. Was my best because you know Harley is in there. But I don't know. We'll see with Superman. We'll see. Although that is a controversial topic. And we. Got Terran Mataru, awesome, awesome, 
awesome, also awesome. Definitely recommend the summoner series. Go and get that. This is a um add on to that. The summoner's hand was really good. This new series, The Contender, is also really good. It was more sci-fi than fantasy. Mark Lawrence, I was introduced to him with this trilogy, the Red Sister. Very okay, great sister, holy sister, and that's incredible. Even though it's young adult, it's also high fantasy. Um, I don't think young adult. I don't think fantasy fantasy should be classed by the age. I think fantasy should be just fantasy. Then again, okay, so it's young adult fantasy. It's really good. Never nights. I one, two, and three. Um, I need to read Dark Lord for review. But yeah. These, these, these are intimidating me. A dark shade of magic. I'm waiting. For, I need to get the rest of the other two before I read that. To kill a kingdom. I keep putting off. I don't know why. Carry on. I loved. I loved. I loved. And I absolutely need to get wayward sun and the rest and some more brave roll stuff. And then sorcery of thorns. I got brand new. Literally at a second. Every single day